<clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Libra, welcome to your Money Monday reading. I'm still kind of like rolling on a high from the reading I did last night. Uh, this morning I watched it. And wow, if you have not already watched that Manifestor reading, I definitely suggest you do. What a powerful reading for your week ahead. Now, it's Money Monday. I got the Light Sears Tarot. We got the green vibes going. I've got my charms and I've got the Lenormand. More green vibes. After the pre-shuffle, we have the dog. Something about daffodils. Let's look up the spiritual symbolism of daffodils really quick. Your loyalty to spirit is being paid back to you, okay? <clears throat> spiritual symbolism of the daffodil. According to books, daffodils symbolize rebirth new beginnings, hope, joy, and good luck. This is a rebirth, a new beginning for you, full of hope, joy, and good luck. Yes, it is, Libra. This is something you have fought for, you've worked hard for, you're not giving up at all. I was going to say easily, but you're not giving up at all. I don't know why my throat chakra is being messed with now. All I've had is coffee this morning. Yes, look at that. I cut the deck open to the nine of pentacles. <sighs> Speaking of green, you just continue to live from your heart chakra, Libra. Two more shuffles. You're moving away. It's time to go. From some type of past person, place, energy. One more. What? Time to go. Turn your back. Ten of Swords. Turning your back on anything that does not serve you. Right. Let's do your four card money tarot finance spread. <clears throat> Here we go. Three card, excuse me. First card. Will money be coming Libra's way soon? Will money be coming Libra's way soon? Will money be coming Libra's way soon? Oh, the Ace of Wands. This showed up in the Manifestor reading that I recorded last night in a different deck. Oh, that's a big yes, Libra. The Ace of Wands is the biggest yes. I mean, if the Ten of Pentacles came out, it's just as powerful. And again, this is something that you have brought in. You have attracted. You have manifested this using the power of your mind. Okay? Look at the fire within her mind that burns so bright. Her physical eyes are closed. This is something that you have envisioned. This is something that you have dreamed about that is coming to fruition. A big, fat yes with the Ace of Wands. With the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom, this is the card we received last week. In this position, for those of you that watched the money career finance reading from last Monday, or I think I did it on Tuesday, I was a day late, but it's money Monday. See, 
everything happening underneath the surface. You couldn't really tell. You're like, oh, but the plant's so small. But look what it has created and generated just beneath the surface that you couldn't quite yet see. Ace of Wands. Let's read. Yes, money is coming your way soon. This is about new ideas, the arrival of inspiration, illumination, intense creativity, the interconnectedness of all things, and the ability to manifest anything. This ace contains all the sparks for all the ideas, and they are generating intensely powerful light for you right now. Looked up at 555. She is connecting you with the one cosmic mind, a universe consciousness, and her delightfully magical soup that is brimming with colossal creativity. A flame burns here that is meant for you, but it hasn't been put to use yet. What will you create? with this boundless potential. Stay open to receive inspiration and insights. You may be shown new information about your divine purpose or soul path. You may even feel compelled to put something completely new into the world. If it feels good, it probably is good. And even though this ace can only predict the inception of something new. It also suggests that all of the energy to bring this project idea or feeling to a successful completion is available to you. Here's your affirmation, Libra. I seed my brilliant future with the roots of creativity and inspiration. I seed my brilliant future with the roots of creativity and inspiration. And I'm reading the Ace of Wands and can we just talk about it? That's confirmation. <laughs> roots of creativity. You planted the seed with the Seven of Pentacles. The roots have sprouted and grown deep. That's such amazing confirmation. Second card. What career opportunities should you look into? The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. This is not something that will be rushed. Career opportunities where you do not feel rushed. You can pace yourself, okay? This Knight of Pentacles is pacing himself. You're also on to a money trail. Look at all the trail, the trail of pentacles. You're on the money. You're on the money trail. You need to keep going. Don't stop. Get it, get it with the six of wands at the bottom. This has been a slow burn, okay? Your success, your popularity, your rise, okay? I just heard rise to fame for some of you because she's up on stage. There's people clapping for her. The Victory Reef. This has been a slow burn. You're on the money. Some of you, career opportunities you should look into. Putting yourself, sorry, I hit the camera. Putting yourself out there. Many of you are meant to be in the spotlight up on 
stage. The spotlight is on you. It's like you're showing others how it's done. Career opportunities for you, Libra, on stage, in the light, in the spotlight, showing people how it's done, but also showing them that you can pace yourself. Everything doesn't need to happen all at once. You can still get where you need to go and it's not a race. You still won and you didn't even know it was a race. You didn't even know you were in a race and you still won. Just like the turtle, more of that green energy coming through. We know the turtle won that race. Let's see the Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Career opportunities you should look into. Knights also were sworn in to defend and protect. Something to do with defending and protecting is a career opportunity that some of you should look into. That was just an intuitive hit right there. The Knight of Pentacles is about diligence and hard work, your determination, steadfastness, building material security, safety, being pragmatic, and expansion. He's toiling and tilling his lands and enjoying every minute of it. Career opportunities you should look into. Some of you are building self-sustainable living. You're planting gardens, community gardens for people to come get free food from your community garden or you're being asked to use some land that you have toil until that land and please don't spray any pesticides more practical than the other nights he improves things for himself and for those he loves. So career-wise, you will succeed as long as you're doing what you love and you're also helping others. Assisting with your steadfast and consistent momentum, devoted to solidifying foundations. He assures you that extra care today will multiply your harvest tomorrow. Do the work today. Start putting that idea into motion now. The sooner you do, the sooner this victory is for you with the Six of Wands. I'm also going to get my dream cards out just to get a few more ideas of some career prospects for you. I just looked up at 1414 on the clock. I also saw 1717 on the microwave right before this reading. All right, six of wands. <laughs> Badass success. A leader accomplishments, being seen, becoming an influencer, victory, optimism, and inspiring others. Relish the sweetness of this victory. 
Something that you've been working toward is finally coming to a successful fruition. And you've been working towards it for a long time. Like I said, I made a community post and I said, nobody put me on. I just did the work. And the Librans I'm reading for, you know exactly what I mean. The Librans I'm reading for have already put in the work. You've been putting in the work. You're not new to this. You're true to this. It's time to celebrate your wins. Gift yourself permission to bask in the warm glow of accomplishment and allow the supportive community around you to witness and appreciate the progress you've made. You're showing others how it's done. You're showing others that it can be done. 1555, you can change your life for the better. I know that's right. Before I get out the dream cards, let's get the last card here, the third card. What will support Libra or serve as an obstacle as Libra pursues success? What will support Libra? <clears throat> Did I just see an orb? <clears throat> I saw something move out of the corner of my eye. What will support Libra or serve as an obstacle as they pursue success, Spirit? The Four of Pentacles. Oh, with the Nine of Cups at the bottom. What will support or serve as an obstacle? I talked about this in the manifesto reading. She's clutching her purse. Hold, keep what is valuable to you close by. But know that money, okay, pentacles, is currency, right? They also call money currency. Well, the true definition of currency is energy, okay? My real ones know that too. The true definition of money and currency is energy. So try not to let lack mindset or thinking that <clears throat> you're not going to have it or you're not going to have enough. No, believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your higher power. That as long as you're doing the work, it will be provided for you. The money will come. So try your hardest to not think small or limited or lack. Think big, expansion, dreams coming to life, nine of cups. Let's read what will support you. The Nine of Cups. The universe is gifting you your desire. Choose joy. That will help support you as well. Have gratitude. That will help support you as well. This is about manifested dreams and abundance. This is the card of abundance and happiness and is often fittingly called the wish card. What have you been wishing for? Allow yourself to experience how fulfilling this journey can be. Fill your life with all the laughter and bliss needed to spur you into the next phase of your happiness, which at the beginning, ooh, the music got real loud with that. In the beginning, when we looked up the symbolism of the daffodils, it spoke about a rebirth, a new beginning. Spiritual confirmation. 
Take stock of all the feels that are surfacing and remember to practice gratitude for the manifestation of your dreams. I just heard you could give back. And if that's not financial wise, you can give back of your time and energy, volunteering. The appearance of this card in your spread is an auspicious message of prosperity, harmony, and getting what you desire. What you have been working toward is coming to you. So enjoy life's pleasures and sink into the awe and wonder of a joyous heart. Speaking of green and heart chakra. Wow. Let's get a message from the Lenormand and then I'll get my dream cards out and we're going to end the reading with a few charms. I'll get my dream cards out to um, further elaborate on this Knight of Pentacles, what career opportunities you could look into, Libra. Let's get a message from the Lenormand in regarding Libra's money, career, finance for the week. Oh my God. We're starting with the fish. This is my favorite card. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 34. All eyes on you, Libra. Look at all those eyes. This is the card of abundance. Thirty-four. This is all about money, prosperity, salary, investments, finances, flow, prosperous, deep, liquid. Ooh, I just heard deep pockets. My guides and ancestors just said, Woo, your pockets are going to be deep, Libra, filled with abundance. Ooh, Libra got deep pockets. I have never been channeled deep pockets. Wow. Okay, two cards for a message for Libra in regards to their career and finance. The lily. What goes with the lily? The tree was just at the bottom. Your ancestors appreciate you <clears throat> and what you're doing for the lineage, okay? And what you've done for the lineage, for real. 30 and 22. This is the road and the lily. Lily and the road. Wow, look at that. Road plus lily equals a decision that brings peace. Very interesting. In the manifestor reading right before this one that I did last night, the two of swords came up. And that's a Libra card. And on that two of swords, it said, peace restored. If you have been struggling, but you know you've been putting in the work, don't worry. Peace will be restored. That's so beautiful. All right, Libra, let's get the dream cards out. <laughs> Speaking of green, okay, Obi wants to say hi. Okay, he says, hey, friends. That's Obi. And look, he got he earned his stripes. 
Okay? Just like you, Libra. Mm-hmm. Shuffle a couple times. Let's go. Let's just get a few cards. What career opportunities could Libra look into that would benefit them at this time? What career opportunities could Libra look into that will benefit them at this time? That's a lot. We got numbers. Shopping. That's funny. I just talked about um, how I used to DoorDash and Instacart for people. And Instacart is where you go and pick up people's groceries and deliver them. So that's a side hustle. Very doable. Very tangible. Fast money. You know, you get paid that same day. If you do things like that and that's what I'm getting here with this grocery shopping card all right the numbers hmm what does the numbers card mean I'm gonna ask the tarot can they're not so elusive <laughs> what does the numbers card mean coding oh coding is what I just heard in my mind okay I don't even need to ask the tarot coding so some of you could look into having some type of side hustle through technology through coding We got castles, ancient buildings, and tombs. I just heard tour guide. We have birds. Making music, singing. For some of you that are talented in making music, this can, this can be creating beats or singing. Anything that has to do with musical ability is what I'm hearing with the birds. Put yourself out there. And we have flowers. If flowers manifest in a dream, they are typically a symbol of comfort, beauty, kindness, love, or joy. Some of you may look into a second, third job, a side hustle, as um, in botanicals, at a flower shop. They may represent your capacity for faith or compassion. Okay, so if a certain flower shows up, like how that, was that a white daffodil that we saw on the dog card? Let me find it really quick. Yep. Those daffodils. All right, so we saw those. What does the white flower mean? White denotes purity. It also has some yellow. Yellow is playfulness. Oh my gosh, it says daisies. Oh my gosh. Oh, I said those were daffodils, my bad. I got the D's mixed up. 
daisies suggest friendship, roses love, dandelions childhood, lilies are about endings. The condition of the flower may be a message from your dreaming mind about your inner life. Are they wild, cut, garden, or artificial? Stay away from anything artificial at this time. Are they fresh and blooming or wilting and dying? If you receive a bunch of flowers or are picking them, this suggests a promising new relationship may be on the horizon. If you see a flower growing in a desert or barren soil, this may be a reminder of your resilience and your ability to overcome challenges. And I just heard like the rose that grow, that grew through concrete. All right, Libra charms, and we're going to end this out. Thank you so much for joining me. Please give this reading a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans here on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your all's continued support. Just a few charms, please, Spirit. Oh, that's an ancient, that represents an ancient coin. That represents an ancient coin. Ancient coins from around the world are considered so lucky. Oh, we always receive. I feel like we always receive a Hamza hand. And we receive a key a lot. This leaf to me again represents your connection to the tree of life your ancestors as well your ancestors have passed down this key to you something about v okay victory six of wands somebody's name could have the initials v of significance i just keep hearing victory I want to look up the Hamza hand. Hamza symbolism. According to study.com, the Hamza is typically used as a symbol of divine protection and protection against the evil eye. Yep. Okay. As you rise in these ranks, all right, in this, in this world, Libra, I mean, I knew that represented the evil eye and protection, but I just wanted to see what would come up. For Hindus and Buddhists, it symbolizes the chakras, energy flow in the body, the five senses, and the mudras that affect them. So some of you should maybe do some research into uh, hand mudras at this time. And also make sure you're wearing, you're staying prayed up, okay? You're spiritually strapped and prayed up. You could also be wearing jewelry. You're, you're being asked to wear different forms of jewelry, evil eye, whatnot, um, as a form of protection because you do have, 3333 as I looked up, a lot of evil eye around you. Angel number 33. 33. According to Hindustan Times, okay. angel number 33, guided and protected. The angel number 33 serves as a spiritual guide and protector. It indicates that you're being watched over and supported on your life journey. The angel number 33 serves as a spiritual guide and protector. That's our guides coming through. And it indicates that you're being watched over, Libra, and supported on your life journey. Please believe it, okay? Please believe it. I love each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart chakra. Thank you so much for joining me for this reading. Until next time, Libra, stay balanced, stay blessed. Peace.